Destiny 2. It's been many years since I've made a Destiny 2 channel on here. I think it's literally since the beginning of the Destiny 2 game release. Since the theme of the month is spooky stuff and spooky games, Destiny's Festival of the Lost started today and it runs for about three weeks or so. So I thought I'd focus on it today and highlight everything that's new this year. In case you're not familiar with Destiny, it's technically a free to play game if you want to try it out yourself. It combines the FPS of Halo with the MMO of like World of Warcraft and it is very, very fun. Every now and then they do a seasonal activity and so right now we are in like the Halloween themed season. You get to collect candy, you wear masks in the game, there's brand new outfits that are Halloween themed, and there's a special activity for this whole thing that's like a mini dungeon and instead of the normal enemies in there there's mini bosses that have like giant pumpkin heads. Plus there's lore that comes out every year with this that tells the tales of spooky ghost stories and it's it's a lot of fun. So that's kind of a quick overview of what the normal Festival of the Lost is like so let's jump in and see what what's actually happening this year, and we'll just take a quick glance at everything. Here we go, Festival of the Lost. You can unlock these masks. You get to like wear a costume in the game with these masks. You can change all these different masks. They're made of paper mache in the game. You can earn this new grenade launcher right here called the A Cosmic. And then you got these different outfits. I think this is Titan right here, Warlock on the left, and Hunter on the right, which was me. And they're the best. Creepy Crawlies. Players voted on it. And that was the one that won instead of them like monsters. I think it was monsters versus creepy crawlies. Now they're available in Eververse. So you do have to buy these. It's probably be like 10 bucks or something for like that. And then over here it talks about doing the haunted lost sectors. And that's how you unlock the lore, the ghost stories. All right, so first thing up, let's go visit the lady that we call Space Grandma, whose name is actually Ava Levante in the tower, which is like our home base basically. All right, so this is the tower and it is decorated for the holiday season. I love it. This is Ava Levante. Let's talk to her. Can you see why we call her Space Grandma? Classic carving. Ava's expression warms as she sees you. Happy Festival of the Lost, dear. I'm so grateful that you are here celebrating. I know this can be a bittersweet time for many of us, and it is important that we acknowledge our grief as well as our joy. So it's also about the lost souls, like the people that we have lost through the year. It's like it's really truly like Dia de los Muertos, remembering those who have passed and who are gone, but whose spirits we hope are still around us. Even though it's a lot of fun, candy, costumes, spooky, it does kind of have that All Hallows Eve, Dia de los Muertos, etc. I hope you allow yourself as much time as you need to embrace all the feelings you hold in your heart this year. She motions toward the pedestal beside her. And when you find yourself in the mood for a little mystery or magic, I have no doubt you will discover something ghoulish in the latest volume of the book of the Forgotten. Which is our ghost stories book. Just watch out for anyone trying to spoil the celebration for you. I'm sure there'll be nothing but trouble, she says with a wink. Speak with Ava to claim your Festival of the Lost mask. Don your Festival of the Lost mask and earn spectral pages by completing activities throughout the system. So your mask is like your paper mache helmet. Then explore haunted sectors with Imaru, Ido, or Glint and battle long lost cryptids filled with mysterious loot. There's no better way to scare up some spectral pages than with a festival mask. Masquerader's Cowl. All right, let's, let's put on this Masquerader's Cowl. Excellent, look at this guy right here. This guy's name is Rahul. So it's a mask of, of a vendor in the tower named Rahul who gives us lots of loot. And down here you can see my collection of masks from previous years. We've got a ton of guys. And the blueberry represents like new players. We got bosses like Aramis and Tanix. We've got Honk Honk, which is uh, so it's the moon kind of, but it's also the untitled goose game. They like made a mask in honor of that. And then we've got like other main characters in the game, like the Drifter or Eris, who's like the star of this season right now. Even like a classic jack-o'-lantern mask, which is probably what I'll go with for now. All right, what else does she have for us? Eva studies the tome beside her. Even now, the Book of the Forgotten is simultaneously amazing and unnerving. I still don't understand how it knows whether your editions are spectral or manifested pages. She shakes her head in disbelief. But who am I to judge after? After all this time, it's clearly much better at telling stories than me, she laughs. I believe the book thrives best 
when you collect spectral pages, manifest them by fighting your way through haunted sectors, and then add the manifested pages to the book, if you dare. She adds with a wink. A spectral page is a sheet of parchment filled with illegible, ever-shifting script, acquired by completing activities while wearing a Festival of the Lost mask. Defeat headless ones, which are the mini-bosses, in haunted sectors to transform this page. And then down here, we've got our bounties that we need to grab. So let's grab uh, haunted sectors, defeat combatants while wearing a mask, haunted sectors, combatants, crucible match. We'll come back for that one later. Summoning rituals and acquire candy. All right. So this is called the event card. It's kind of a new thing. I think they added starting this year, earlier this year. It's like another battle pass. We already have a seasonal battle pass. And now this is an event battle pass. So there's a free tier and there's a paid tier. So the free tier, I think, is this stuff up here. I believe. And then the paid tier is down here. These are secret triumphs that as you kind of work your way through the event card, it'll reveal more. And then down here, this is the paid stuff. So you can get a shader, almost all black, a lot of black and brown. All black is the best shader. There has never been an all black one. There's been some that are really close. Like this one looks pretty close. There's never been an all black shader. Sugary staple, looks like candy corn for a sparrow, which we ride on planets and stuff. We've got a sparrow, which is like your on planet vehicle. And then you've got a ship, which is like your in outer space vehicle. And then we've got an emote as well for those who stay in the shadows. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like that. We've got a ghost shell, confection shell, adorable. Another emote, imprecise snack. I bet the mouth is like opening up and catching them. Dude, he's on a roll. Sugar rush for a trans mat effect with all the candy corn. I personally love candy corn. I think candy corn is underrated. Underrated. Cobb webbed projection for your ghost. That's pretty cool. I'll probably end up buying the upgraded event card. How much is it this time? A thousand silver and I only have 800. Well, maybe I'll buy a little bit then. So that's the Festival of the Lost event card. We can focus engrams. So this is new for this year. We've got eerie engrams. So basically you get an engram from like completing activities and then an engram will turn into loot, whether it's a, an armor piece or a weapon or some other type of material or currency. That's what an engram is. It's like the unknown item that you then decode and it turns into something. And the eerie engrams are the ones specifically for Festival of the Lost. So we've got Horror Story, which is an auto rifle. We've got Jurassic Green, not Jurassic Park and not Lincoln Park and not Lincoln Green, but Jurassic Green, which is a solar pulse rifle. And then you got the macabre. There is a lot of discussion on how to pronounce this. It's a pun off of macabre m-a-c-a-b-r-e but it's also the year that it came out they had like gundam skins for the characters so is it mecca mechab Me macabre mechab mech Mechcob? Is it macabre? It's okay if you say it like this. I actually said it like this in my head for like a long, long time. And maybe it's probably because there's other YouTubers that say it like that. Or is it just this original macabre? Mechcob? 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 That's probably what it is. Mechcob. Not the double C, but like mechcob. Instead of macabre. Mechcob. Very subtle. I'm gonna die on this hill. I think that's how it's pronounced. Mechcob. Anyways, it's an arc sniper. And then this is the new one. This is the A Cosmic Grenade Launcher. It's got little hearts hearts on it. That's adorable. How do I get the heart skin? That's pretty cute. Do all of them have hearts this year? Doesn't this look pretty Gundam though? It's pretty rad. Anyways, the eerie engrams can also turn into three enhancement cores, five enhancement cores, 10, an enhancement prism, an ascendant shard, and an ascendant alloy. Or you can uh, do focusing to get an exotic. Now these are older exotics, so not this year's exotics, but you can get an exotic. Maybe you don't have it yet. If the legs, chest, gloves, and helmet. This is new this year. Hocus focusing is new for the Festival of the Lost this year. Very cool. Cool. And you've got two decoding things up here. You can just turn it into anything. It just costs one engram. Or you can specifically turn it into a weapons engram for 500 candy cost. Or you can turn it into specifically one of these weapons for a thousand candy. Very cool. Very cool. And then over here, we've got some more rewards. Lost Memento. So this is a brand new memento for this year. A memento is when you craft a weapon. You can give it like customized perks instead of relying on random rolls. And the memento, it changes what it looks like. And it also has a counter, I think a special type of counter. So this one is going to be unlocked from doing a triumph. We'll take a look at the triumphs in just a second. This section right here is like your key to tell you what the different items are. So this lost memento candy is what you earn. It's kind of like a currency that you earn while wearing a mask. Then you've got your spectral pages, which turn into manifested pages. You want to turn it from the ghost version into the real version. And you do that by doing the haunted lost sectors, epic mystery grab bag. You have a bunch of extra candy at the very end of the event. You can turn it into this and it'll give you various goodies. It's like if you have extra in 
10 grams, you do the focusing, but if you have extra candy, you do the epic mystery grab bag, which will turn into weapons, armor, currencies, etc. And this is the smaller grab bag, if you don't have enough candy for the epic ones. And then if you uh, lose your masquerader's cowl, you got this one. And this up here in the top left, the event information hovering over that little eye, that will also give you information in case you need it. All right. So now one of my favorite things about this event, all the little so beautiful alive. glowing decorations these are just for the halloween event and these like spooky boarded up things i love it i love the decorations for this event one of my other favorite things about this i was just saying is that they hide candy in the tower and it's like a little puzzle to climb up the tower usually the standard way is to go up the back i can so here, that little blue thing on the ground that I just picked up turned into candy. I got 50 candy. That's actually like a decent amount of candy right there. Now I have to get to the rest of the candy in the tree without falling off. So there's that glowing blue one up here. Snagged it. Thank you. That was very generous. Boy, I fell off. <laughs> there's one over there on the far side. <laughs> All right, safe and sound. Got that one. Already completed a bounty just by picking up the candy on the tree. Usually there's one more up here. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, there it is. And there's a purple. Do you see the glowing purple one on the very far end of that right there? All right, so here's this blue one. 50, 60 candy. And then this purple one right up here. 250. Awesome. So we're starting off strong on the candy. So we've completed this bounty by just acquiring enough candy from the tree. So I'm gonna turn this in and it's gonna give us even more candy. Thank you very much. I wanted to show you guys some more about the tower. Just kind of show you what other decorations they do. Just think it's kind of a cute decorations they do. Maybe I'll put some music over this. <laughs> I love it. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh man, I love this so much. Dang, I core went all out. Look at this. Oh, is this it? Oh, okay. So there is a there is a hidden room down here. If you go off to the right from my Cora, and you take a right right here, there's kind of this hidden room that you have to like crouch to go in. And then there's like this, just this little room, party room of like ghosties hanging out. It's just so cute. I love it. Now there's another tree right here with more candy. And also these trees with candy reset every week. So you get like three solid weeks of it. Free candy, you don't even have to go do anything. Well, I guess you have to climb the trees. If you're having trouble climbing the trees, I recommend increasing your mobility stat in the game. Helps you have higher initial jump. It's your first jump. There we go, there's those two. And the final one, there we go. That's like free, what, 600, 700 candy right there? Boom. Now just for final check, Let's see if they did anything down with the drifter. Oh, it's the puppy. The puppy might have already been there. I don't know if it was there before this, but that's amazing. That dog is so cute. Drifter, you are decked out. I mean, he's one of the more spooky characters in general. Like he's living the eldritch life. If I had to pick one character who's living the eldritch life, it would be Eris Morn. But if I had to pick two characters that are living the eldritch life, Drifter would be number two. Gorgeous decorations. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, let's do the Lost Sectors Haunted Sectors playlist. Let's check it out. I'm grateful for your assistance, Guardian. I'm investigating Glint's All right. questionable reports on the Headless Ones. Keep your lousy fairy tales. The only way to prove something is with cold, hard data. Candy! You know, I know and Glint don't appreciate the nature of data collection like I do, which I plan on getting for my own Headless Ones theory. If the Guardian finds enough Ooh, candy, no radar. evidence. When done right, it's chaotic, volatile, violent, especially with rocket launches. Just don't stand too close. <laughs> How hard is it to shoot and lose while you stand inside a circle? Two amateurs. <laughs> We're getting roasted right now by him. So Imaru is like a frenemy right now. Don't 
Very nice. So those are the mini bosses, the giant guys with pumpkin heads. Well, come on. Show Daddy Imaru that coming out here wasn't a complete waste of time. Daddy Imaru? Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, so we got that one over there. So what's happening is we've got these little areas that we need to, like, claim. King of the hill, basically, if you will. Not quite, but basically. And while you stand in the circle and capture the hill, there's going to be enemies coming in that you got to take out. So now there's multiple of these circles spawning. So I'm at point C and someone else is at point B. And I'm getting hit from behind. It's fine. I'm probably not going to be able to take out this guy by myself. That's okay. Very nice. There's a great shot for you guys on that one. All right, five seconds remaining. Let's go. Final boss. There we go. Glenn just told me that I'm not respecting the power of vengeance and curses. <laughs> the only power I respect is whatever can be wielded in those meat bag hands of yours. Well, hey, shouldn't have done that, I guess. So close. Very nice. All right, and we got the boss down. Excellent. That's pretty good. A little chaotic there, but pretty good. You say dramatic, I say pathetic. However, this mission has created more questions than answers. How did these monsters end up on Earth? Why do they only appear at a certain time of year? And what does it have to do with the ancient human ritual known as? The hall between. Oh, oh, I've got an even better question for you. Do guardians ever do anything worthwhile unless loot's involved? Yeah, didn't think so. Wow. <laughs> Put on blast. Excellent. Let's give some. Uh, let's give some commendations. You were fun. You were thoughtful. That was fun. Dude, imaru has got the roasts this year. We're gonna go back to the tower and talk to Ava Levante again. She's got something she wants to tell us about. Space Grandma. I have ideas already. She's the vendor for like each of these events. There's a there's like a winter one in like J December, January. And then there's like a spring one, which is usually like the Olympics during the spring. And then there's a summer one, which is yearly recap. It feels like it's a yearly recap type of thing because it used to be that the next version of Destiny would come out in like August. So this event would be in July and it would recap everything you did for the year. But now the new one that comes out in February. So it's completely it's all off. It's all off now. Anyway, Space Grandma says, Ava looks relieved as you stride into the courtyard. You've got some manifested pages? Oh, thank goodness. I get the strangest feeling that the Book of the Forgotten is hungry. She regards the book with concern. I could swear I heard it grumbling. Ava waves you over to the tome. Add your manifested pages to the book, Guardian. Hopefully that will keep it quiet. Let's add our pages to right here. So you've got all these shrouded pages that you can unlock. These ones that are available only cost two manifested pages and we have three and these down here cost five manifested pages and then some at the very bottom cost seven manifested pages. The cost increases basically as you go. All right, so we're going to unlock our first one. Great job new lore discovered. If you guys like this video, if you enjoy it, obviously hit the like button, please. But if you guys like Destiny content, we could do a lore reading video of reading the spooky lore. Maybe we could start out with that. I love the Destiny lore in the universe and the lore books and the flavor text and all that stuff. So if you guys like Destiny stuff, uh, let me know and maybe we will do a uh, spooky lore reading for this season. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Tales of the Forgotten Volume 3. I'll show you the one we just unlocked real quick. Tales of the Forgotten Volume 3. There's a lot of lore pages here to unlock. Chapter 1. The Tower Bazaar was beginning to wake with activity as Ido sighed and placed her data pad on the table in front of Crow's ghost. Glint, this research on the hall between has me thinking about stories. The ones that evoke fear. The scary ones, as you've said. Like the ones about the drowned captain? Glint asked. Exactly, she said. My father told me not so long ago that odes are for hatchlings. 
But throughout our research on the Hall Between and the Headless Ones, I've discovered that people of all ages and backgrounds enjoy these tales of dread, regardless of the academic merit or accuracy. So I'd like to make something similar for people to enjoy. I want to try writing my own. Well, that's a wonderful idea. What will you write first? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I need some inspiration. Oh, well, I'd love to help. Now, the first thing to know about scary stories is that sometimes nothing is as scary as the truth. That's Glenn. They're both sweethearts. They're both like just innocent, wholesome beans. She's got one more thing to say to us. Thank you for feeding the book of the forgotten, Ava says appreciatively. If you keep giving it manifested pages, I'm sure it will reveal some fascinating tales. Take a peek at your event card and don't forget about the masks and goodie bags I've prepared for all the guardians. She gestures proudly to an array of handmade crafts and treats. Nothing like a creepy sweet to get us in the festival spirit. And there we go. There's our first triumph completed cryptozoologist. If we go up here, claim the reward, we will get the Clovis Bray mask. There it is right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're all kind of like little handmade things. I love it. There's a CD and a water bottle on the back and some buttons and the water bottle cap. And there's a pair of headphones around the back. <laughs> and there's a face mask, like an N95 or whatever. Oh, there's a bunch of masks, actually. That's hilarious. All these little face masks. Another pair of headphones over the top. This is so funny. Brilliant. All right, let's see what uh, what triumph we just got. There we go. We just unlocked all of them. Great. All right, so these are the triumphs. Complete event challenges. Progress resets at the end of the event. I think that's probably going to be the last one. One of many. Defeat all the headless ones in a single run of a haunted sector. So when we ran the EDZ one just now, we defeated all the mini bosses in a single run. So good job, team. Masked festival while wearing a festival mask. Complete dungeons, raids, master or grandmaster nightfalls or win rounds and trials of Osiris. You could probably do dungeons. The easiest and raids deathless one complete haunted sex without dying we did that as well we did it flawless and sweet tooth acquire 30,000 candy so you get all that and then you will get the ghost rider title and all these open up as well cryptozoologist we unlocked our first chapter bookworm one get 11 manifested pages bookworm 2 22 33 pages 33 gives you a ship the Nix, Nixpteron? How do you even, X-P-T, how do you pronounce that? Nixpteron? Nix means knight in Latin, and Pteron means flying or flyer. So I think it's the night flyer is what that name translates to. This is why I love Destiny lore. Their, their names are references or have deep meanings. They're, and I'm sure other games are like that too. It's just for me, Destiny hits that. Mm, that good stuff. Heads will roll. Defeat a hundred headless ones in lost sectors. Candy corner. Acquire a certain amount of candy. What is this, by the way? Is this a, uh, this is the tormentor mask unlock. We can't take a look at it yet. This is the puka mask, which is like the darkness version of a ghost. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. Mystery meat. Purchase mystery grab bags from Ava. Defeat targets with grenade launchers. You'll get the new t grenade launcher. Auto rifles gives you a horror story. Snipers gives you a me mechob. And pulse rifles gives you a Jurassic green. You can get a callus mask by completing activities, the ritual activities, legendary shards, which I think, aren't they like going away or something like that? So that's funny that they're going away in like three months, four, maybe four or five at this point. You can get a Nimbus mask with focusing an eerie engram. You can get a Mara Sov mask by doing haunted sectors. And you can get an ascendant shard and an ascendant alloy by completing the entire Ghost Rider title. Very cool. I would love to preview the masks, but I get it. One more thing. Thanks for helping the tower get in the festival spirit, Guardian. Ava says. Here's a little something to help you on your expeditions. She hands you a package, her eyes twinkling with delight. Keep filling the book of the forgotten with those manifested pages. And don't forget to visit me from time to time. She encourages you. I've got plenty of masks, treats, and festival gear to go around. She leans in and whispers, conspiracy. Spiratorially. And do watch out for that grumpy hive ghost. He is nothing but trouble if you ask me. Keep Ido and Glint close by if you can. It'll put my worrying mind at ease. Ava grasps your hands warmly. Happy Festival of the Lost Guardian. She's so sweet. She's a sweetheart. 
everybody's so nice. And we get our first A Cosmic brand new grenade launcher. Thank you, Grandma. Oh, she has more for us. She's got so much to give us. She's so generous. Sophisticated sculpting. Guardian, I'm so glad you've been able to carve some time out for the festival. Ava says and laughs. <laughs> but you should know that stories have begun to surface of haunted sectors with even more formidable adversaries. Be wary, as they likely will not be easily defeated. I leave it to you to determine what challenges you wish to pursue this festival. But as I always say, overcoming greater challenges always leads to greater rewards. She smiles at you encouragingly. And if anyone can overcome, I know it is you. Show the whole city how to triumph with bravery and skill. Sophisticated sculpt and complete all the higher difficulty haunted sectors which can be accessed through the tower map. Moon, Nessus, EDZ, and Europa. The gauntlet has been thrown. All right, thank you, Space Grandma. Are we done Space now? Safe. We are done now with that particular thing. All right, so there you go. That is a brief overview of the Destiny 2 Festival of the Lost event. Let me know if you guys want to have a lore book reading for the spooky stories. Thanks for letting me do a little bit of Destiny as a video, just because it's a little bit spooky. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.